This is a big scam and zero about managing anyone's health. And in this video, I'm going to give you some simple to understand reasons why you should never take a statin. And watching this might make you want to do some of your own research before you agree to take one of these little pills. I've got to be honest, it's taken me a long time to do this video. I've wanted to put it together for a while, but I've been spending a lot of time digesting all of the information I can find about statins. And while I understood pretty quickly that they were bad, I couldn't work out a way of explaining it simply. But now I'm ready to throw out some simple analogies to get the point across about statins. So I hope you'll stick around for it. Just before we get started, I want to talk to you about something that's not going to harm your health and it's not going to cost you any money. So the exact opposite of statins. We need to get the cholesterol of the like and subscribe buttons under control. And the only way to do this is by clicking them. We could of course give the buttons a statin, but the side effects would be severe. So please help out the channel by smashing like, and also if you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. Thank you, and let's dive figuratively into statins. So I'm going to divide this video into two sections. First, there's the big lie about statins. And second, there are the consequences of that lie. Pharmaceutical companies would probably label those consequences as side effects. But I think consequences more accurately represents what they are. So, the big lie. Now, I'm not good with numbers or stats or big words or any of that, so don't worry, there's going to be nothing confusing here. Just analogies. So you've probably seen those scammy business opportunities that get advertised on YouTube from time to time, or you've seen them in those little ads at the bottom of news websites. Pay me $10,000 and I'll set up an Amazon dropshipping business for you. You don't have to do anything. Just pay me the money. We'll take care of the rest. Sit back, relax. We'll do all the work for you. Now, when you come across this kind of offer, most people are going to look at it pretty skeptically. If this business opportunity is so good, why doesn't this guy just go and set up his own Amazon dropshipping business? Why is he trying to convince everyone else they need him to do it? Definitely something fishy here. But imagine if he had some pretty convincing testimonials on his website. Imagine too, under those testimonials, he's got a statement that says 50% of the customers that paid him $10,000 to start this business were making $100,000 per year in their first year. That kind of statement might persuade you to give it a try, right? But later, you find out that 0.2% of his customers went on to pay him a $10,000 management fee every month on top of that initial $10,000 investment. And it's from this small group of people that 50% of the customers went on to make their $100,000 in their first year. That 50% is not looking so impressive now, is it? And technically, their advertising is true. Relatively speaking, 50% of their customers did go on to make $100,000 in their first year. But it's relative. It wasn't everyone. That 50% is relative, not absolute. Let's imagine they start off with 1,000 customers. Each of those 1,000 customers buys in at $10,000 and is going to get their Amazon dropshipping business built for them. About a month after signing up, each customer is hit with a new contract asking them to pay $10,000 to cover ongoing support and management costs. Most customers realize they've been conned and they cut their losses at this point. But 0.2% of his customers buy into the hype and agree to pay that $10,000 monthly management fee. And out of those 1,000 initial customers, 0.2% is only two customers that continue. And of those two customers, one of them gets lucky and earns $100,000 in their first year. They're still losing based on paying $10,000 a month in management fees. But those are just details. And if you knew the 50% success rate that was advertised was relative, that would give you pause, right? 
Because at first, you're going to buy in because the 50-50 odds you're going to get of making $100,000 in your first year sounds great. But it's not 50-50 odds. It's not 50% in absolute terms. Rather than 50%, it ends up being an absolute percentage of just 0.1%. And so, if that text under the testimonials had read, 0.1% of people who paid $10,000 in initial investment made $100,000 in their first year. You'd probably think twice, right? So if you go to the doctor or you see a TV commercial and it says that a statin is going to reduce your risk of heart attack by 29%, that sounds pretty good, right? But when you find out that 29% is a relative number and the absolute percentage is actually about 1.3% and there are a host of side effects that come along with taking those statins, the picture starts to look a bit different. And so that's the big lie. And you could argue that, well, when they talk about it in their advertising, they always say relative. And perhaps they do. But it doesn't matter what they say. It matters how the demographic they're targeting interprets the message. That demographic that's seriously considering whether they should take a statin or not. And look, these companies know what they're doing. They know that if they say the absolute number, they're not going to sell anything. So now let's move on from the big lie to the consequences. I mean, side effects. And the list is huge. Headaches, dizziness, nausea, weakness, digestive problems, muscle pain, sleep disturbance, memory problems, hair loss, pins and needles, hepatitis, pancreatitis, skin problems, loss of libido, erectile dysfunction. So before you take a statin, you need to weigh up the potential benefits, which on an absolute basis are minuscule, alongside the consequences. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.